siamo a Torino con Bernard Sumner dei New Order che stasera terranno un concerto molto speciale alle OGR e ne parliamo e cerchiamo di farci spiegare come sarà. So, um, this is gonna be a very special concert. It is. Yeah. Starting from the name, how do you actually pronounce the concert? Uh, you can't, it's un unpronounceable. Yeah. Um, the formula, you mean, it's like a formula. Yeah, the formula, like all mathematical formulas, represents <laughs> something. And, um, yeah, it represents, you can't pronounce the name. Yeah, so, so. N O is for New Order. Of new course. Order, yeah. Yeah. Uh, um. Have you got the formula here? Oh, of course. Oh, I'm trying to explain. So, let's. Yeah, okay. The sum of New Order. Yeah, the and sum of New Order plus 12 keyboard players. Ah, okay. 12K. Uh, plus LG, Liam Gillick, the conceptual artist that uh, designed the, um, the visuals. The visuals. Yeah. Uh, I can't eight. read the rest. Yeah, 18 was it? 18, uh, 18 is the year, of course. Yeah, okay. and what's the last Plus Oggio. Oggio is the... So it goes, uh, which was the name of a television program um, that used to be on. The Boss Fire record label, Tony Wilson, was a TV presenter. Uh -huh. And he had a, a music TV program called So It Goes. And when we did the first one of these concerts, which was in Manchester, we did it at the old TV studios that's defunct now, that old TV studio has moved somewhere else, mm -hmm. but we did it in the old TV studio is where Tony used to film his music show, um, called, and the music show was called So It Goes, so okay, it's got an easy, easy to pronounce name, <laughs> So It Goes. <laughs> okay. So it was kind of out of respect to Tony, who's um, who sadly passed away a few years ago, so it was a, a tip of the hat to Tony. You know. Normally, in our, we do two kinds of set. We do uh, our normal touring set, which lasts for about, well, it depends if you're doing a festival or a show, but it's quite long. And we have a lot of screens and uh, lighting. But this is the first time we've ever actually used um, an art installation and played inside the art installation. The brief from the festival organisers was just two words, which was original, modern. So it had to be something original that we'd not done before and something that was modern, um, which greatly appealed to me, really, because that's really been the basis of the whole of New Order's music, was original, modern. and We never kind of referred back to the past and... We always look forward to the future and wanted to make music mm -hmm. of the future, which that was our goal really. So it, it suited our um, the way we looked at, at things. We're not going to play Love Will Tears Apart. We're not going to play Blue Monday. Oh. And the festival organisers asked us not to play those songs because we play those songs in our normal set. They wanted us to play songs that we don't normally play, uh -huh. um, which I think is great. So we're playing, uh, we went through our whole back catalogue and we picked songs out from each era not necessarily hit records, but just interesting songs from each area. Anything from Iggy Pop to David Bowie to The Velvet Underground, Lou Reed's solo stuff, 
and then electronic music Kraftwerk of course big influence uh, Cabaret Voltaire uh, Giorgio Moroder mm-hmm. um, and uh, a lot of New York um, club music we spent quite a lot of time in New York um, in the early stages of New Order we did quite a bit of recording there and a bit of touring over that side of America mm-hmm. and we went out to a lot of nightclubs and we listened to what the DJs were playing there um, oh, Paradise Garage The Fun House mm-hmm. Danceteria AMPM loads more that I can't remember and just listen to what the DJs were playing what the DJs were playing was really refreshing because they would play a really eclectic mix of music. They didn't just play house music or electro. They would play what they called New Wave from England. And then they'd play some early rap music, and maybe some records off the Sugar Hill mm-hmm. label and Chic. And um, yeah, it, it, what inspired us was everything we heard as we were travelling around you know, and go to various clubs. 